What you respect, you will attract. This could not be more true for us today. Joe, Josh, and I went to the bank to conduct some business today, and on the way back, we stopped by our local Walmart to pick up some items for Jada. So when I got out the car, I put the camera, my little pocket camera, up on my selfie stick, and I'm walking and I'm talking to Joe and Josh. And Josh? I don't like any damn okra. <laughs> I don't like no pork. <laughs> I like pork. I mean, I prefer beef over pork, of course, but I don't mind pork. I don't like the smell of pork. Live or something? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Vlog. Live. Just vlog. Not live. It's oh, a camera. Cool. <laughs> and so this guy was getting in his car, and so he says, hey, are you guys live? I'm like, no, I'm just vlogging. And he says, well, what does that mean? I said, I'm just like recording, and then at the end of the day, I'm going to edit it and upload it to YouTube. And so he says, well, what do you record? I said, just my basic day, you know, what I'm doing in a day. Oh, just my random boring day. Oh. And so he goes, how interesting. And I said, well, I have a cooking channel on YouTube. And this is just like a side thing to the cooking channel because I like having a behind the scenes type thing with my viewers. And at my little vlog, we are a little family. And so he's like, wow. So he just started to strike up a conversation with us. And I think we have him somewhat so jazz on piano, camera. So right music. Because <laughs> Joe oh, was wow. still holding the selfie stick. At that point, I had in him the selfie stick so I could shake the guy's hand and blah, blah, blah. Give him my card, so on and so on. So he gave me his card. Well, it turns out this young man lives here. He's about 32, I think he said. He lives here in our town. He's a musician. He's a jazz musician. You know how hard that is? And he is a studio musician. So he has to know how to read notes and stuff like that. And he works with like six different studios. And I think he writes his own music. I don't know if he sings. He might have said if he sang. I can't remember. But interestingly enough, he also did like, like a cooking show inside of his house with his own family. But he was doing it to try to sell it to the networks. And what it was was a competition. You know, where, you know, this team goes against this team and they have judges. I don't want to get too much into what all it is because I don't know how much he wanted me to share. But um, it's a different little twist on the competitions that you see nowadays. So he showed us a little snippet of the video. And then I showed him, you know, my intro thing for my cooking show, that one minute thing that I do. And I showed him Jada's song. Well, I had him listen to Jada's song. And we stood out there. We must have talked for 40 minutes. Like we knew each other forever. And so um, there was a lady wanting to turn into the spot that was open next door to where the guy was. And he goes, move y'all. She looked like a Trump supporter, move. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Right away I knew he didn't like Trump. So I shook his hand even more. I'm like, hey, good to meet you, my brother. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be doing something together. I don't know what. First of all, we're going to invite him here, and I'm sure they're going to invite us to their home. You know, I got a good glimpse of his mom and siblings and stuff because of the show that he showed us. And um, it's just so interesting because he kept saying, this is divine connection. This is a divine connection because why did I even speak to you? And I said, because you're nosy. <laughs> so anyways, there's another connection. I told him, you know, ever since Trump got in, we stopped going to church. I'm done. It's not that I don't believe that God exists anymore. It's just that I'm done with these pastors because I don't really like what my pastor was doing when he was like promoting Trump. And so uh, he's all like, what church? And I said the name of the church and he told me the name of the pastor. Now that stuff always um, amazes me because when you go to the Episcopal or the Catholic church and you say what church you attend, very seldom will people come back and tell you the name of the priest because they move the priests around like every five years so that they don't get attached to one church and then become like, you know, King Lord or something, you know what I mean? So uh, we don't associate any special priest with any special church, especially over here in America. So um, he told me the name of the pastor and I go, yeah. And I said, do you know him? Do you go there? And he goes, I'm the um, keyboardist or musician for his brother. Because th th my pastor has a brother that has a church. I think he may have a sister that has a church. They're all into the church business. And he goes, I'm the musician for the brother. <laughs> he's, he's the paid musician. I'm like, oh, interesting. And I'm like, do you like the brother? And he goes, yeah, we've kind of butted head business-wise, but he's okay. And he says, but I don't know that I would want to meet the one that was your pastor. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and I said, you know what? He's a nice guy. He's just a little bit cocky. You know, and I, I, I can't stand cockiness anymore. I can stand, you know, if you're confident. But if you're cocky, just go away and leave me alone. <laughs> so that's all we've done today. I rushed home. I made some lunch. 
Um, I ate the lunch and I started to feel very tired and it's not the lunch that I ate that made me tired because it wasn't a lot of carbs. I think it's because I, I have not been taking my Flonase in the morning times recently. Every time I take my Flonase morning and night, I start feeling better. I start slacking off on one or the other. If I don't take it at night, I'll take it in the morning. So I have to stay on it twice a day. So update on Jada. She's doing a lot better. She's going to be done with the steroids on Tuesday and I think she'll be done with the antibiotics on maybe next Friday because I think she has to take it 10 days because remember she was taking the amoxicillin from Wednesday to Monday and then she started taking the 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 other one, the mycin, whatever that one is, Monday to month seven. Oh, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. She'll be done with the antibiotics and she can't wait to be done. So the thing went from a tennis size, you know, tennis ball size to a golf ball size to a jacks ball size to like a big marble, for those of you who used to play marble, to a small marble, a regular marble, to now like a kidney bean size. So it's going down, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. And for those of you who have not been keeping up with the vlogs, let me catch you up. Jada went to go have wisdom teeth extraction. She removed all four. Uh, one of them was exceptionally difficult to get out. I don't know if it's because of that or where he poked her with a needle in her cheek or whatever, but she developed um, a hematoma at first, which turned into a horrible abscess. And we went through a, a very traumatic week trying to get to the bottom of what's wrong with Jada and her face was like this. And she's getting better. Thank you, Sam, again for being there by my side supporting me. Jada says, if it wasn't for Sam, I wouldn't know what to ask that doctor and so on and so on. So you guys are amazing. God put us together for a reason. Just like how God let me meet that, that young man or that young man. I don't know if I'm going to be a blessing to him or he's going to be a blessing to me or we're going to be a blessing to each other. But I do know that some of the people that God um, has removed from my life, it may be just for a season. Maybe they'll come back through again. Uh, that Maybe they're gone forever. But the people that he's putting in my life now, I'm very mindful and I'm watching because the law, the law of, I said I was going to go into career, the law of recognition dictates that we must recognize what God has put there in, in, in place for us to succeed, okay? It could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be, um, what, a business, you know, an opportunity, and... He's working every day on our behalf so that we can do better, so that we can reach out and help each other. Because that's what I want to do most. When I start having my finances in check and I have a little savings and stuff, I just want to be a blessing. I want God to bless me so I can be a blessing because he says he will give seed to the sower. And I'm definitely a sower, okay? So Joe's outside watching his little silly program, his Norcos or whatever program he's watching on Netflix. Um... I think we're going to bake a chicken in a little while. I'm getting hungry. I don't know what we're going to eat between now and then. And um, I don't even know what time it is, but it's one of these lazy Saturdays. I haven't planned anything for the cooking channel. <laughs> I was telling Joe I might take a week off of that cooking channel and just rest and come back with a fresh outlook because sometimes it becomes a little bit overwhelming. Oh, let me tell you guys what I'm going to start doing too. You know that little board that I put in the cooking channel to show my sponsors? I always put it at the cooking channel because there are more subscribers there and I always want my donors to get a lot of um, attention. So I'm also going to start slipping it in here in the vlogs because even though you guys donate and I say that the money is going to keep the cooking channel going, which that's where it goes. I buy groceries and stuff from it. Um, I really want to thank you guys here at the vlog because for my vlog to make 18 to $22 and me to put up a video every night and you guys keep me going, you guys motivate me to keep going. I really visualize that the monies that you guys donate is for the vlog because if I don't do that, I'll quit because that money is too small for all the work that I put into it, if I'm really conducting a legit business, right? So I would say on average, you guys will donate anywhere from about 80 bucks to about 150 bucks. And it's a few of you that put together to donate. I have two people that will donate every single month. God bless you. I pray a thousand full return on your investment into my life. I really do because um, it comes right at the right time as a blessing to pay some bill that was about to shut off. I'm telling you, sometimes it's a part of the internet bill that I use to do this business. You know, so I'm telling you that donation makes it worthwhile to do the vlogs. And that's why I continue doing the vlogs because 
you guys are amazing I know that a lot of you are struggling just like we are you know struggling financially but you still find it within your budget to give to me and I don't take that lightly I really don't take that lightly. I don't say your names here because it's on the board and I don't want to forget anybody but y'all know who you are you're a blessing to me and um, whatever you do for the least remember that scripture yesterday you know, then you've done it for the Lord and the Lord is obligated to bless you. I think because we respect artists and actors and singers and musicians and pretty much anybody who's doing what we're doing, I think that's why they're so attracted to us. And that's when we met this young man in the parking lot of Walmart. Jada's over at her friend, Matt, and he's helping her with her art homework because he's good at shading and charcoal and all that stuff. Joshua does art, but Joshua does everything on the computer. So he's not good with paper and chalk and stuff like that. So she needs a little bit of help. That's the one thing Jada can't do. She says, I suck at art, mommy, but I'm trying because the teacher's working with me. So I'm going to stick with this class. So Joe is in the backyard. I don't know what he's doing. He has a task to do tomorrow to fix this gate on this side of the house. One of the panels is falling out and I guess he has to like dig some dirt from around it. I don't know what all, but he says Joy is going to help him tomorrow. I'm baking a chicken right now. I use my baguettes to make the stuffing, so I want to see what that's going to taste like when I'm done. And um, I'm, I've already eaten all my points today, all my calories. I only have 172 left. Uh, if I go to the gym, I can gain 200 more. And I'd love to do that, but I don't know what Joe has planned. So we could still probably go because it's Saturday after all and it's 530. So pretty much there's going to be nobody there. Yeah, so that's pretty much my day. It's been like a lazy day. And um, I guess sometimes I deserve those type of days, right? Where I just kind of relax a little bit. So we'll see. I didn't tape a show yet for the cooking channel. I don't know what I'm going to tape. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Don't you guys think tomorrow's another day? Oh, let's talk about Osley a little bit. So I'm so glad that you guys were so excited to see that vlog. I didn't want to say anything because I wasn't sure he was going to go. So I didn't warn anybody that we were going to do this. And when we took him, he was just in his element. Everybody came over to give him love and respect. And he just felt so good when he got back to the home. He was showing off to his friends that, you know, he got taken out and that, you know, he went back to where his shop was and blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, to go from a businessman to be in a place like that where you're three men to a room, that must be so hard, you know. But yet he's so grateful. All the nurses love him there. So I'm so glad that this came to fruition. I mean, October the 8th will make eight months since Osley went through this brain surgery and um, I'm so glad that he made it so we could do this you know I'm so glad that I was vlogging the whole time so that you guys can come along with us so I got a lot of comments to that vlog and I enjoyed the comments I there's probably more waiting there I have to go answer some of the comments right now so and um, I got to give some of you a phone call the thing has simmered down with Jada right now so I can take a break and give some of you guys a phone call maybe if not this evening because it's later it's after five maybe tomorrow what time let me see how much battery power it has a hundred percent battery power okay i've got one little thing to do and then maybe i could go live let's see if maybe i could do that it's 7 29 in the evening and i just got through doing my live i was on live for about 75 minutes and quite a few of you were able to come on and i had such a good time with you guys i just got up and i taste a pinch of the stuffing that i made in that chicken remember i used baguettes my homemade baguettes to do it it came out so fantastic guys so I'm going to have to go clean up the kitchen, put that stuff away, finish up this vlog, and then figure out what I'm going to do for a show tomorrow for the cooking channel. But I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the vlog. Thumbs it up if you like it. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to your comments, okay? I'll see you guys again tomorrow night. Bye! Yeah, daddy, you know, you kimono. You